that time of the week. Yes. Yeah. Can you repeat? Because we are seeing five new things. Yeah, we try. Yeah. We try to have a baby, but okay. they, we try to have a baby. Not we didn't succeed. They told her that she must do it. The only option I think was in vitro. I denied. I said no. Uh, I can't. It's 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 yeah, enough. It comes by. This this is a very personal separate and this is a don't give this woman. She wants to be sure of the child. I love her so much. Okay. Yeah, I know I love it. Yeah, but the child is to make it to give this woman. She will have a baby. She will have a baby. Don't cry for the baby. The baby will come. So you came here for the first time? This for the second time. You came before? Yeah, we came before uh, a year. So, Every year? Yeah, it was here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, nobody spoke with you here about this person? No. Uh, you for him is so. Amen. You can see the baby. Amen. You see you killing your baby. Amen. You see you killing Amen. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Not a Christian. I'm talking about a pastor. What makes pastors pray more? Because I can hear what they're explaining. What they're saying is true. Because that's a commitment of every Christian. Isn't it? But a Christian and a pastor are two different things. Pastors and shepherds. You understand what I'm saying? There's a Christian, which every Christian has got a covenant, which is commitment. But there's a pastor, which is different from you know, being a Christian. We are all Christians. You understand? But there's a Christian, there's a pastor who's also a Christian, but he's a pastor. So what makes a pastor to pray? I want to leave you with that question. I think it's love. Huh? I think it's love. It's love. Yes. Mm. It must be right. It must be right. But I want you to go and pray. And ask God, what makes pastors to pray? God will answer you this week. And I believe when you are praying, it's part of doing what? Also praying for us. You hear that? Because we need your prayers. Huh? We need your prayers. And as I will be laying my hands on you, this week God must multiply all your plans. Amen. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. So God must multiply your plans. Amen. Your marriage must bring out fruits. Amen. Amen. The business you are doing, I speak connection in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many people are doing business? But remember what I said. There's a lot of commitment that is needed. And you people also want to tell you. Despite what you are doing, you know, making plans for yourself and your children, no Jesus is coming back. This morning God was telling me, let us speak about the message of repentance. People must repent because Jesus is coming back. We must not continue speaking about a lot of things. Jesus is coming back. Teach people about repentance. That's what I was hearing this morning. Teach people about what? Repentance. When you read the book of uh, Second Peter there, from two, three, we read from three, it speaks about the scoffers. You know what the scoffers are saying? The scoffers are saying, when will this Jesus come back? You hear that? Mm -hmm. Our fathers, they are even dead. Even us soon will die. People have been speaking about the coming back of Jesus. When will he come back? You know why now you can't hear about the message of, of repentance and the second coming back of Jesus? If you check, that message is very scarce. I'm sure I'm speaking the truth, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. It's scarce, isn't it? Mm -hmm. People are teaching you how to be patient. And we are also teaching you how to receive. 
Everything is about receiving, receiving, receiving. You know, and why is the message of Jesus coming back? Because, and look what God is doing now. God is taking people to the streets now. You, you are seeing that? Mm. Eh? You are seeing people on the streets. Some of them, they even look like they are not. Eh? Mm. Remember what the teachers of the law said to Jesus. They said, teach your people to keep quiet. Satan is making pastors to keep quiet about the second coming of Jesus. Listen to what Jesus said. If they keep quiet, God will do it. God will do it. Will do it. Will do it. You know what is a stone? A stone is something that does not care. You, 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 you are still afraid of going to preach on the street. You are afraid of what, what will people say. A stone, even if you kick it, it does not care, isn't it? A stone is something that doesn't care about anything. If rain comes, the stone will still say, Jesus is Lord. If the sun is hot, the stone will do it. Jesus is Lord. You know, and when Jesus was speaking about the stone, people are thinking he's talking about the real stones. No, he was speaking about our race people that they won't care. And they won't listen to anyone. Whether it's hot or cold, they will preach about the coming of Jesus. So now I want to pray for you. Where you are working, tell people about Jesus. Where you are working. <coughs> huh? Do you do that? Huh? Why are they so why people that you work with they are so quick to tell you about Sangomas? And you don't see a problem with it. Why are you not quick also to speak about Jesus? You are ashamed of him. You know why people can go to the street and preach? Yeah? Class. Status. That's why Jesus said, I'll raise stones. Stones. I pray that those stones must be me and you. Amen. I didn't hear you. Amen. Amen. I say I pray that those stones must be what? Amen. Me and you. When now status won't work, we leave our suits. We go and pray Jesus. Stay. When people are passing, you say, Hey, give your life to Jesus. Give your life to Jesus. That's why he said out. If they keep quiet, but I'm seeing what is said happening now. People are quiet. <coughs> People are quiet. We select verses where we feel comfortable of. We preach about those. But why are we not preaching about repentance and the coming back of Jesus? Because Jesus is coming back. Mm. I don't know if you're hearing what I'm saying. To you. Mm. Jesus is coming back. I'm constantly being told. That I'm coming back. I'm coming back. So if I'm told that I'm coming, should I keep quiet? Mm -hmm. I'll be sinning against God. You hear that? Yeah. I'll be sinning against God. Lift up your hands. As I'll be touching you. If God have to raise stones, those stones must be you. Yeah. I'm talking about a stone. That the one listen to people. A stone that even when people are criticizing, that stone will never. Stone doesn't have an ear. You see a stone. Stones they don't have ears, isn't it? They are not ready to to listen to anyone. I don't know if you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Huh? Amen. A church now it's a place of status. A church now, a place of status. That's why I said to you, one day I'll come here with my flip-flops with a shot and tell you about Jesus. Say amen. 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 Lift up your hands. Jesus, I pray for your children. As they're looking after your house, increase them. Let your spirit come down now. Fill them. Ya sukutalaya. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
Spirit of the living God, they are here, their hearts are open. I pray that you give us hearts that are solid as stones. Let your spirit today come to them. From their mouth, the name of Jesus will come out. From their mouth, they will never stop talking until they take their last breath. Today I pray for you that let God establish you in everything that you are doing. Let foundation be Jesus. In the name of Jesus I pray. The spirit of the living God. Others are here. They have been crying for your presence. Crying to hear from you. Crying to receive from you. Crying to know you. Crying to understand you. Today, oh Jesus, you said in the last days I'll pour out <coughs> my spirit. You said in the last days I'll pour out my spirit. Oh, young men shall prophesy. Old people shall receive dreams. Let that spirit you spoke about, let it come to these committed children of yours. Right now. 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 In the name of Jesus, I pray. Let it come to your children now. Let them receive double of what they are praying for. I pray in the name of Jesus. Whatever spirit that is troubling them, I uproot that thing. Let them be free from this spot. Be free! Be free in the name of Jesus. 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 As I'm touching you, God is setting you free. I can't hear you. Amen. I can hear your amen. Amen. I can hear your amen. Amen. I can hear your amen. 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 I say God is setting you free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. The name of Jesus. Amen. In a job in your house, receive your healing, sir. God is healing you. In the name of Jesus. This is also for your business. Thank you, Lord. Sir, come. Where's your son? Come. You need to make it simple. Is it the one who you work with him? No, it's the other one. That one is too much business. business. Hmm? What kind of business you want to do? It's doing vegetable. It will work. Must listen to your heart. Do you hear me? Listen, you obey. God bless you. Close your eyes.
First time I put a little promotion. All of us will give you close. You hear me? And don't make a mistake. When it comes to marriage, make a mistake. Because the demon of the whole family lived in it. You see, marriage is the demon of the whole family. So many sisters, no breakthrough of marriage. But just know that the same demon is also following. I believe God will help. You know, after this promotion, I see you live in town. In your own space. Yes, I need to move out. Yes. I see you live in town because you're <coughs> I see you are tired of the noise. Yes. So God will do it for Leave it. Leave it. Leave it, demon. You want to buy a car? You want to buy a car? Yes. Um, God loves you. Well, touch your sister. God is healing you. You know you're not fine, even if mm, this thing is sitting on your chest, it must leave you now. Oh! Oh! Demon! Why are you trying to do that? Here you are, my small pal. I'm going to go play. Oh! Leave it! Huh? Leave it! Why are you making her sick? Huh? Why are you making her sick? Huh? Why are you making her sick, you demon? Huh? Why are you making her sick? You want to kill her? You want to kill her because she's not supporting you. Huh? You want to lift him up. You want to Huh? What's wrong with you? You want money. You want money. You want wife. A woman who was pregnant by the time this Mary was pregnant. Who's that? Miriam. Huh? Miriam. Elizabeth. Oh. Elizabeth. Jesus. A snake. Eh? Leave it. 
Good. So much touching and you find so many people that are working there in the church. Working great jobs. You can't even do anything to do it. But you find a woman like this. <laughs> this one. It's shocking, isn't it? Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Your pastor coming for the second time. I'm a man of God, but I don't have a church. Huh? I don't have a church. You are what? I'm a man of God, but I don't have a church. What is a man of God? <laughs> uh, so basically, what happened? They used to have a man of God. <laughs> you know what is a man of God? But you're all children of God, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm? So you're, you're submitting someone? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I started something there to think about. It's right with you. Okay. Good. 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 And why are you changing? Good. 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 They are, they are taking you with very light. So, it's daily to take you safe. Do you? Yes. I won't go inside details. I'll pray for you. Don't worry. So, you want to start a church? Yeah, I do. Hmm? I do, but this. Actually, I feel like somehow my faith has been tempered with. You want fear, my faith concerning opening a church, but still I'm praying that I have to open a church in the right time. So I just need God to. Isn't that what I was saying? Yeah, That's so. what they're doing. It's, it has affected your faith, isn't it? There are many things that have happened. So, which sometimes you feel like you want to be on your own, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that one comes to me. Which one is that? Mm -hmm. yes, very good mm -hmm. I just don't want you people to go wrong. I'm not prophesying, but I'm just speaking with you as a brat. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, uh, we must also teach people how to do what is that. So, I don't trust the word God. Mm -hmm. If you want to lead, it's up to you. But find yourself in a place where you can submit yourself. And you stay there. If you feel like they're not seeing your vision that you have, you pray about it. You hear that? Yes. If you feel like you've got strength to start your ministry, what is it that God is saying? If God has spoken with you, if someone says God has spoken with me, you cannot stop them, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They have heard the voice of God. If you hear the voice of God, you do what you are told. Easy. But if you say I heard the voice, be sure of what you are saying. Be very sure. 
And because a ministry doesn't end when they speak. You see that? That's the beginning of trouble. The minute you see people coming, you see many pastors, they pray for a lot of members. They don't know it's the beginning of trouble. Beginning of attacks. Sometimes you bring people close to you that are you know, attack you, you don't even see that. There's a lot of issues, but I believe God will help you. Continue to serve God. But find yourself, if you want to live there, I, don't, I can't speak much about it, but if you want to live, let it be from you and your God. You understand that? God bless you. We touch you, please. I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Mm. I didn't go into details. I just spoke small, I withdraw. But God loves you. Jesus. Mm. Come on, God is in you. Where is your husband? Yeah, I think he's gone.